We've got a light show for you, chock full of beautiful rings and earrings and maybe a few other things. I don't know. You'll have to come back and find out. Here we are, everybody. Where are our Rita's? We're not actually live until Rita says hello. The Rita's. How are we awesome. sounding, We're Marco? Are we sounding good? good? Awesome. Yate, Anjiba here. Anji, as you guys know me, I'm so excited to be back with you guys for another awesome show. Thursday here in beautiful Albuquerque, New Mexico at Turquoise Skies. Oh, there it is. Located on ancestral Tiwa homeland here in the Duke City. If you're a local, come over and check us out. We're in Uptown on Manal, just east of Louisiana, right? 8106 Manal Avenue. 8106 Manal Avenue. Yeah, the state's opening up and I'm sure some of you are locals and would love to come by and we'd love to see you. Um, so, yeah, who's ready for jewelry? Right, I think we'll give them a little bit we'll more give time, time to pile in. Hi, Anke. Hi, Rita. Hi, Christine. Welcome, welcome. So, we, uh, Marco and I were just talking. We're really excited about um, a new sort of program that we're going to have coming up on every other Wednesday to start out with to get our feet wet. We're calling it Deep Dive Discussions, and it's going to consist of interviewing different artists, um, leaders, um, just interesting people from the community to kind of give you a broader context of who we are as New Mexicans, who is making this jewelry, uh, all the different people that make up this incredible state. And the first uh, discussion is going to be next Wednesday. So mark your calendars for that. It's going to be at five o'clock. And we're bringing on morning star Angeline. She's an actor here locally. Um, but she's super busy. She's recording for Netflix right now, so she's not oh. going to be able to come in. She's on, going to be on set. So I'm meeting with her this Sunday, and I'm going to do an interview with her, and we'll be playing that for you and talking to you a little bit more about that. So make sure and come back on Wednesday and so, show some support for our new deep dive discussions because it's kind of my baby, and I'm really excited about it, and I'm really hoping to introduce you guys to some really cool people that we have locally. I mean, there's so many artists and just like amazing people that oh are our neighbors or our friends that we want you to meet them too. Yeah, we're a big melting pot here of everybody. We really are, and that's what makes it so cool. <sighs> we're just right. getting started, all you latecomers. Because of you, I'm getting a half sleeve from. Oh my god! Oh. Teresa! Oh, I want to know everything. I want to see designs. I want to know who your artist is. Um, we're going to be tattoo sisters. You know what? I might cool. get to sleep soon. Do it, Marco. I really want to, but I'm I might know one or two people that do something like that. I'm a little scaredy cat. There is this one tattoo artist who does really good renditions of turquoise. Oh. Like they do like, they do I think I've seen those. And I'm just like, who is it? I don't know who it is. I don't know the that artist. Sounds really familiar. Terrible names, but I was saw one and I'm like, all right. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. Hello, Mary J. Ryder from Georgia. Ah, oh, I'm excited for Teresa getting her a sleeve tattoo. That's mm -hmm. no small feat. Yeah. That's a lot of work. How long did it take you? How many sessions did you have to do that? I'm a big baby, so I could only sit for a couple hours, so it took forever. Oh, man. I feel like it took forever. It took like a month. A couple hours. Like, like, that's a, month, a long time. A couple I feel months. Like that's hard for I everybody. don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, okay, it hurts. I'm done. Let's oh, yeah, because I back. always forget you have to let it heal before you can start again. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, this, this was one tattoo, and then these were a series of other ones. Ah, okay. All right, well, we've... Uh, We've BS'd a little bit. <laughs> uh, do we have all of our eyes on it? Are we still waiting for some people? I think we're good to start. Canada. Cool. Oh, we got people from all over today. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. It'd be awesome to know how some of you new folks how you found us. Because I know we've been doing a little bit more promoting of the lives lately. And just curious if you found us on an email, saw a Facebook ad. You know, like sharing that with us. Something random but just talking about how people in our chat are. I, there's something I've wanted to do for a long time and do like a big Zoom call with all of our <gasps> That'd be all cool. of our top viewers oh, and put it on the live. Have our inner circle yeah, as a Zoom it. call. Oh my gosh, imagine that. Maybe we should do that for a deep dive discussion. <laughs> That'd be fun. Be like herding oh cats, but I like cats. Yeah, everyone knows about Zoom calls now. It's like, 
mute yourself unless you're being spoken to. <laughs> unless being spoken. I don't know if I know those rules. They have to tell me all the time. Andrew, we can hear your turkeys in the background. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, All right well, let's get into it. Enough of us being hilarious. I know. Let's get into this the story. Marco and Anji show. I'm really excited about this first pair of earrings because they're so darn cute, oh my and God. I know they're gonna just—they're gonna literally flutter away. Ladies, get ready. You get already ready. have a hint of what they are, and oh my gosh, I'm just looking at the price already. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Nothing says spring like a dragonfly. Oh. This is number one. Is, do you know the artist on this one? Hmm, let's see. Marilyn Preston is the artist. Very delicate little silver dragonflies with a little pop of turquoise there in the body. Oh, they're so sweet. And you're not going to believe the price. Oh my God. Their sale price is $48, you guys. So if these don't go home with you, they're going home with me. <laughs> For those of you newcomers, I put, oh, Mazzello. See, all right. I, I know. Was just about I would, to I'm like, I don't even, I'm not even going to have to stand here long because these are going to fly mm -hmm. off. Mazzello. So, yes, for you newcomers, if you see something you like here and you want it, don't wait because the first person who types sold and the item number, it's theirs. Um, and whatever's left after the show will still be available if you're coming to the show late and you know it's already posted but there's still items available um you can give us a call they could still be uh, up for grabs in which case you would get the discount for the next 24 hours of 20 percent off so let's uh jump into that really quick if you see something and you need to give us a call you can reach us here at 505-862-9443 you can email us at hello at tskies.com you can direct message us on facebook um but I have a feeling most of these are going to go today, so oh, yeah. I wouldn't hesitate. These are some really good priced things. So let's give these to Marco. I'm going to adjust the exposure on this camera a little bit. Okay, so we get to the next one. It's a super bright. My phone's going off. Oh, I Silent. No, I silenced it. Whoopsies. All right, we've got another pair of earrings coming up. We've got a lot of white cards today, so I'm going to really bring down the exposure a little okay, bit. Okay, sounds good. Mary is... found us on YouTube. Cool. Oh, drumming. Jeez, thank you so much. Yes, of course. Congratulations, Mazella, with your dragonfly earrings. Yes, we are on YouTube and Facebook. And you should be able to see both comments in the bottom left corner. Uh, sadly, YouTube does not put the face the YouTube comments onto Facebook, but they will you'll be able to see the Facebook comments on YouTube. Might be a little confusing. But here we go, number two. Check out these fun, funky little hoop dangles. Oh, there we go. Much better. Number two. They almost have a little bit of a jaw claw vibe to them, which is a, a style that the the ladies around here wear, a Pueblo and Navajo style. But these are not jaw claws. They just kind of have the vibe about it. They're little hoop dangles, little teardrops with chunks of turquoise really pretty each stone is unique got a lot of different shades of turquoise here too we've got a little bit of almost green bright blue we've got some of the mother stone showing which is a little bit of black and browns just a lot of personality in those oh my gosh and the price is fantastic there it is at another 48 dollars. 48 gosh we got some deals today. I'm a huge fan of hoop earrings, probably because I grew up in Chola culture here in New Mexico, and we all had hoop earrings. But <laughs> know, these are these are a little bit more sophisticated than yeah, what what I grew up with. Too. They're really pretty. Yeah, let's measure them. Let's have tape measure. Here we go. Here we go. They are, the turquoise part is two inches with the with the hook. It's closing in on about two and a half. Fallon Sparks, I don't know what that means. I know, I was trying to figure out what that means. Samantha, meant, can you elaborate on what that means? That's a tad bit out of focus. I will fix that for you. I think I can get a little bit there. closer just to show yeah, the detail. true nugget turquoise. Yes, look at all that. I was trying oh. to figure 
<laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's a cool name. Wow. Yeah, so you get a lot of the Pretty. mother stone in there. You get some pure, you get tons of different types of turquoise. Yeah. I see Royston. Oh my gosh. I, I think I'm going to try these ones on just to give, I think hoops always look a lot better when they're on. Then you can really see. Oh, nice ring. Oh, thank you. This very handsome man got it for me on one of my first Facebook Live postings. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> <laughs> my who? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to do it with Wait. this camera. Can we do, yeah. Go a close up on my noggin. Eh? What did you say? What? Why did you say? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, yes, and we had some people comment on the pearls. So those are Vanita cowboy pearls that are in our gallery. Yes. We should have a really high-end pearl show coming up soon sometime. I, I'm crazy about these. I love, I just love them. I love wearing them. Oh, those are good length, too. I love the way they look with all my black clothes. Just love them. I also love these earrings. Those ones are fun. 48 bucks. I don't think we saw a sold for those, which is super surprising. Yeah. I don't I know for if sure these would get them later. They'd fly off. I lost a little back to this, but that's okay. There's that little plastic thing next to the earring stand over there that fits those earring cards. I think it's holding something oh, yeah. in the stand for it. That's what we usually use. I know. It's improvising. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have sold to Teresa. Oh, don't need. Oh, add that to another pair. Congratulations. Okay, let me catch up. I've got one earring in. Got another earrings everywhere. All right. And Teresa, um, I'm pretty sure you're local. Did you want us to ship these out to you, or did you want to pick them up? Oh, good question. And hit that drum. Yes. It was Teresa who got them? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I think she came in and bought a piece from Devin a few days ago. But she had like Ooh. the most energy I've ever had. A lady with great here. taste, I see. Oh, yeah. Love Devin's work. It's got some earrings up there that I'm pining over. I know. Oh, I just love oh, it. So All bad. right. We're on to three. Oh. Well, that's not going to work. Authentic handcrafted jewelry. If you zoom out a little bit, it should be good, too. Oh, wow. Boom! Those, I love those. Those are sweet. Those go with my silver and black aesthetic all the way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's in Pennsylvania. Okay, well, we might need, if we need your shipping address, please feel free to call us. Oh, was it a different Teresa that came in? No. She, oh. or, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think she came in then. Never mind. These are an inch long. Let's see what the backs are. Mm -hmm. The artist is Daryl Yazi. Oh. So some beautiful Dene silversmithing. So these, the black spaces here are kind of like shadow box. They're actually um, grooved in their divots. See? Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's what gives them the contrast. I think they're really cool. They've got dimension, very sculptural. I'd say. Yeah, you've got, it's really just like exquisite too. They're it's very just, like, just classy. I just love contemporary artists like this. I think these might be one of my favorites of the day. Mm. I just like I'd wear these with everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're an everyday wear. Southwestern sure. chic. Oh wait, we're on number three, right? Yeah, oh, really. we're moving right along. Wow, really I'm not sure what else to say about these other than they're just stunning. They've got that rope detailing there on the sides. There's a little bit of uh, chamfer right on the edges where they where you file where the artist filed them a little bit so they have more of an angle. Oh, up. this little the round yeah, roundness the rounding there. Rounding of it. Oxidation done by hand. Super dark. These are not vintage, but. They have that oxidation, and as years go on, they'll get a little bit more oxidized. I would keep these high polished, though. I think they're gorgeous. That's what makes them really beautiful, and um, I, they have a little bit of a a dangle that they're going to have from your earlobe too, oh, yeah. which is going to yeah. make them kind of cool. They'll hang down a little ways. 
One of these days is just gonna have to pierce my ear, Angie, so I can wear stuff. You like know, this. you guys keep making this joke, and I think it's I, just gonna I, have to happen. I've always been on the fence, but I don't think I, my mom has just told me not to. So that's the only reason. Well, that is <laughs> usually the reason you do it, silly. Oh, uh, you know, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try a pair of these on, or uh, one of these on. Yeah, these are $64 today. Oh, that's such a good price. They're delicate, but they still have presents. They're not going to be upshone by any means. All right. Um, where are you back? There you are. Ooh. Oh my god, I really want these. <laughs> <laughs> they go well with those I pearls, too. I say that too. about lots of show, at least. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Are those heavy at all? I don't no. think they are. They're mm -hmm. super light. I mean, compared to the earrings you're wearing, they're probably a lot lighter. They're about the same. But I'm also, I guess, used to wearing earrings, so I don't even think about it. No, not he they're not heavy. I can weigh them for you. Do we have a scale down here? We do. Hi, Linda. Those are gorge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's, let's see. What are we talking? Three grams. Yeah, that is nothing. I think a paper clip is a gram, so. <laughs> they, it's because they have that hollowed out bits. Ah, uh, yeah. So they're not. Still super fun. They're not um, just a solid piece, so that's why they're not so heavy for their size, you know? All right, so those are three. We're going to move on to some inlay. Don't see an artist on these ones, so I'm not sure who is the artist behind these beauties. Oh, what is the, can you show me the back of those? Because yeah. I might be able to tell you the artist. The back is the same as the front. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was gonna say this might be the Carice family, but it could be. But they're... because there's no, they own, they always sign their piece. So oh, I don't okay, think yeah. I don't think it is, and also based on the price, probably not. But I mean, they're still incredibly lovely. Look at all those beautiful. Even okay, look at this awesome detail to keep them symmetrical. The little bit of black right there. Is matched on both sides. Yeah. So if you move it back a little oh, bit, oops. I think I'll be able to tell you. So I think we have, I think this is lace agate in the t in the corners. Yes. Then we have some Sleeping Beauty turquoise with mm -hmm. some jet right next to it. Um, this might be Gatsby. I, I don't know what the green is. I've never seen it's that. It's more of a yellow. I think it. It might be Bumblebee then. <sighs> and then. I would just, these are usually called everything style, like, because they have so many different stones in it. And there's even a little bit of black right there. That I, purple is not char white. I think that might be purple spiny and then... Red spiny. Red spiny. That yeah. yellow, I almost want to say it might be mother of pearl. That's what I was thinking. It's a little translucent, right here, but it's it gets super a little, yellow. It's a white right there, like it fades into uh, white. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably a... But it's, it looks green on the camera from here. It is not green. It is, it's almost exactly the color of pineapple. Okay. It reminds then me of pineapple. Then probably some, what's it called? Some mother of pearl. Yeah, golden yeah, mother everything. of pearl. And the lace agate in the in the right corner is what really fits. That's really out. cool. That's super unique. You don't see a lot of that. And it's bookend, too. So if you look at it, they like mirror each other really Yes, well. even that tiny little sliver of jet is the same on either side. It's... Blows Even my next mind. To the, and the, the purple, purple spiny, yeah. And they're beautiful on either side. They're gonna look wonderful coming or going. <laughs> I hung them upside down so you could see oh sorry. So you could see the backs and the fronts are the same. So we don't know who made it. There's no indication. Yeah, we don't on know this. on this one. This might have been something from Indian TP or just an artist made in house. I think we're out of Indian TP. Oh really? I haven't noticed any for the last couple of shows. Wow. I don't. I, I mean, I I think I don't think we have. Um, there might have been one vintage cuff on Tuesday. And these don't look vintage at all. Yeah, they're on one of our cards, so I don't think it is. Yeah. Gold lip. 
No? Hmm. I've never heard of that stone. These people and their stone knowledge is mind-blowing. I'm telling you. Are any of you lot. guys jewelers? Because, are you just rock hounds? Oh. They know oh, a lot. I that's a term for it, yeah. Rock hound? Yeah. I love my, my, my grandma-in-law introduced me to that word. She was a rock hound. And these were number four, right? Yes, they were. And we got the price up there. Yeah, 96 bucks. <sighs> Great price for mm. inlay work. Oh. That was a shell. Would people who know shells be considered rock hounds? Mm. Or <laughs> I'm um, a sea gym mermaid. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Soul to Betty Hoyer. Oh, okay. We'll hold off on that. Congratulations, Betty. These are gonna look beautiful on you. I know it. Oh yeah, she wants her drum. Mm. She got it. I'll give her a little extra because she she's keeping me on track with the drumming. Steal those from you. Okay. We're a two man team today. Mm -hmm. All right, my darlings. Look at these sweet little cross earrings. Oh my gosh, yeah. These are nice. Oh, was Christine first? We have a discrepancy. Oh, Christine was first. I'm sorry, I did not see that. Oh no. But in our chat, it was first. Okay, let's and give Christine. And even Betty says it. So. Thank you all for being good sports and letting us know. Since that drum was so definitely for Betty, this one's for Christine. Congratulations. I hope you are living good health. My cheeks Thank are rosy you. today. I've been out doing so much guard, like yard work and in the sun, and my skin is like, oh my gosh, we forgot what the sun is. With all this wind? Ow. It's not windy where I'm at. I, oh. Yeah, I hate wind. I wouldn't be up there if it was windy. I like oh the gosh. sunshine. Solar is powered. there an artist on these ones? Yes, there is. Mildred like Parkhurst. Do we know who Mildred Parkhurst is? I've never heard that name. I like the, I've never seen a cross like this. Like it almost reminds me of like a plant, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's actually a plant that grows by the river that it has the stock is like that it's like in joints but um these are little triangular bits soldered together to create almost like a layer going up I s to the side maybe you can see it better let's see oh, oh, no. it might have been carved too i'm trying to there you can kind of see the layering what there does the it is back look like are they solid pieces or is it Hollowed out a little bit. They are solid. Oh, okay. You guessed it. So maybe that is carved out. Yeah, so what I think it was, I think it was actually but carved by hand after... There's a little bit of oxid oxidizing there between the joints. I'm calling them joints. Little joints. Well, that, that would just happen, though. That doesn't mean it was soldered. Yeah, they almost look vintage to me, but I don't know for sure. Um, I don't... I just by the style of them, I don't think that they are. No. They're very eclectic, though. I've never seen anything like these ones. Oh, they're cool. Somebody had some fun making these. Oh, wow. With some Sleeping Beauty. And these are going for one twelve. That's the sale. Everything is 20% off today. Um, we're giving you the sale prices up there, but after uh, 24 hours, they go back. They're like... <laughs> they're like Cinderella. After 24 hours, they're going back to their pumpkin price oh my gosh, of 140. That, <laughs> <laughs> that darn pumpkin. A pumpkin price. <laughs> Does that make you a fairy godmother? Ooh, I I've always so. wanted to be a fairy godmother. Love it. All right, number six are fabulous. Is this the last pair of earrings? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. And they, they are fabulous. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Some overlay, some texturing. I need to like zoom that. out because these things are so big and show-stopping. They almost remind me of Texas. Well, they remind me of Nashville. Ah, uh, see, I always associate Nashville and Texas together for some weird reason. <laughs> Maybe as a child I always thought they were the same place, but... 
I gotta break that. <laughs> Texas and Tennessee. Maybe it's the T's. The T's. Oh, these are so freaking fun. Let me see if there's an artist stamp on them. F A. I don't. I don't know that hallmark, but perhaps somebody does. Am I gonna length on those? Sure. Like, these nice are so fun. Way. I'm. Put some more Sleeping Beauty in it. Putting oh, them on. And sold. I'm still putting them on. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Mozilla. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna give you a sneak preview since we didn't measure them. Oh yeah, those are fun. Good length. And I will draw them. Don't worry. I didn't forget. Right. Those are so adorable. I love them so much. All right, Mazella, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. They're going to have a lovely home. And those were 180, Mazella, but she wants them. I can't blame her. The texturing on the, um, the body of the earring makes it look so... Now, fun and, and you can just to see like the uh, presence of the artist's hand in them. Let me see. I want to know. Oh wow. Oh yeah. And that was <laughs> done by hand. This little chip texturing. That's, That's really cute. cool. I love it. That's done by using their, their rotary tool and then they'll go in and just like do some freehand of abstract texturing. Amazing how many jewelry techniques exist. Oh my gosh. It's endless. I'm every time I'm in here I'm learning a different word. There's just different like areas to all jewelry though. I have no idea what this stone is. Oh. Uh oh. I think it's let me find be... a, a ring, a finger that fits. I think I'm guessing Laramar, if you once it's in a little bit of focus, we'll see. It's a little bright. Oh shoot. You know what? That might be a turquoise. I don't know. I, I, I don't know because the matrix scene has also got a turquoise coloring to it. Let me see. I'm gonna take a closer look with my actual eyeballs. I think it's the coolest stone I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's a turquoise. It, it reminds me of Golden Hills, but I don't. But I don't not, think it is. It's not Golden Hills. It's not Hills. quite. It's more of like a robin's egg or like a duck egg. Blue um, or it hidden. might be Cripple Creek. I'm thinking. I'm sure these ladies will tell us. But my first guess before I saw the Matrix was Larimar, but I don't think that's Larimar. That color is not quite right in the camera. Let me. Let's try this one. It's more of a. It's got a bit of a green undertone to it. One second. I'm just putting that back in. No. Yeah, that looks more accurate. Is there an artist mark on that one? Oh, like it was so captivated. Yeah, oh, it's it an like Eddie an Secretaro. Yeah, it is. I was like, duh, it's Eddie. We'll have to talk to Eddie. If you buy this piece, I don't know, I, it's probably turquoise. It's a size 7. But you'll have to ask Eddie what turquoise this is. It's a size 7, we'll find out, because it's, I just, I'm captivated by it. I mean, it doesn't hurt that that's literally my favorite color. Right, that's a great piece. I love that one. Gosh, size seven. This would be a pink earring for me. Mm. It's even a little small for me. I might have small fingers. Gosh, I don't know why I didn't think that was Eddie right away. Oh my gosh. Come on, little You're so tummies. busy looking at that gorgeous stone, you don't even see anything else. So pretty. Oh, Eddie his... always has the most beautiful stones. He's so... obviously a rock hound. I know, Let's if make you see a him note. On Facebook, he'll be like posting stuff, and I'll be like, "Pick these stones. <laughs> Which do? Which ones do you want in pieces on the show?" Let's make a note to ask Eddie um, who the artist. I mean, who the stone is. Might be Caraco Lake. I could think, but yeah, I'll maybe Devin would know. I think it, I think that's right, Caraco Lake. <laughs> Congratulations on your ring. It's beautiful. I love it. Sending it off in good health. Yeah. 
Ooh, this next one's pretty cool. If you like big, what does Shep call them? Cocktail rings? Uh, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> I just call these. Oh, this one you might need that block for. Let's see, number seven. Oh, oh. Brighten her up a bit. Oh, yeah. Give us a guess. What is what is this stone? Y'all should know this one. I tend to call it the wrong thing. <laughs> you tend to call it I have a Western song? No. Is that a Western song? What no. We said oh, you're so silly. So this is Wild Horse, but Unji always calls it Crazy Horse, <laughs> who was a Lakota leader. Oh, <laughs> You know what I was thinking of? Crazy Train. Crazy Train. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I thought Western song. We've gotten... (laughs) We're all over the place. That's far from a country song. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Let's get back on track here. This is serious business, Marco. Oh, whatever. Serious stuff. Serious stuff. Ooh, just look at it. It's so chocolatey. It's like that. Red chocolate. Just marbled. Just. Is this another Eddie? Wouldn't be surprised. I don't think so. No, it's a AJ. It says AJ Navajo Sterling. So we know that AJ is Dene. I'm not sure who AJ, but his What's full name is. What's her name? Dene. J last name. Mm. Johnson? No. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what size is it? It is a size 8. Uh, the price is... 220 today. Oh, some people do call it Crazy Horse, so I'm not crazy. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> oh. I was craving some music, so... I love the Four Shank Band. It caresses oh, wow. your finger and, and look just at that bezel. hugs it. Oh my gosh. This isn't really the right finger to wear it on. Let me... There we go. Oh my god. I have to a specific song right now. This ring makes me happy. Did we put the price up there? Yes. Yeah, it's 220 So it's going today. for 220 That's the sale price, guys. Not the pumpkin price. If people just join in the middle of this live, they're just going to, what are they? They're just saying words up there. What are they even talking about? What is this pumpkin what price? What is pumpkin nonsense? price? It's pumpkin price because after 24 hours, it goes back to its original price. Not its special fairy godmother price. Do you hear the song I'm playing? Is it Crazy Train? No, it's Horse oh, with No Name. Horse with, oh my god, I have a story about that. When I was little bitty, I was probably like five, four, I still baby talked. And we went on a road trip to, like, Nevada or somewhere, like, middle of nowhere. And I heard the song on the radio, and I thought it was the best song I'd ever heard in my life. And so for the rest of the trip, I would sing it, but, like, with a baby list. Riding on a horse with no name. <laughs> and my aunties thought it was the funniest thing, and so they would just have me, like, repeating it over and what over. What did you say? Horses with name. <laughs> <laughs> but I think oh, about that every time I hear that song. It was their little road road trip entertainment. Is this Gaspiite? You know, I don't think so. I think... I don't think so. It might be. It's so be. lime green. You know what? Just to be safe, I think it is Gaspiite. Yeah, it's got too much of the lime in it. It's wild how limey it is. Dang. So pretty. I'm gonna get me some limes. I'm gonna get it in focus. We can all appreciate it. There we go. This is an Edison Yazi, so it's another Dene piece, and it is size 8. And the sale price is also to. No. I see eyes in the nose. I see that. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, me too. Kind of like one of those um, Easter Islands. Yes, I was just thinking that. Easter Island. That looks just perfect because lime green is such a tiki. Tiki bar color. Tiki bar color. <laughs> Such a pina colada color. It's on sale for 200 Size 8? Size 8. It has such a smooth, shiny, classy band. A cigar band, I believe yes, is it called. Yes, exactly. 
feels good on. I really like cigar bands. They have such a supple, smooth feeling about nice them. Just a nice taper. I love it. Yeah. Because so it doesn't... I have a thing where if the rings are too bulky right here and it hits between my fingers and it bothers me. Yeah. And this doesn't. It just it's really snugly spits right in there. There's a trend where artists will use like very large faceted stones, but they'll sit it, they'll make the ring so it sits right in the crevice between the knuckles. Oh. And that's what this like, that kind of cigar bend almost reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. Just because it's so comfortable. Pretty. Am I in focus? Oh, I turned off the thing because of the box. Oh. There we go. Ooh la la. Ooh, la, la. Oh, like see, we see a face. face. Will the camera see a face, though, and focus on it? <laughs> <laughs> little tiki face. Gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, that is it's gorgeous. Lot. Size 8. Too small, probably, for a fella. But just right for a Mother's Day. What am I hearing over there? Are those the goblins? <laughs> Are we having a goblin, goblin sighting? I thought they were gremlins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, goblin gremlins, same thing. They're going to get mad because I called them the wrong bad name. Okay. Let's move on to tin. Ooh, I know this one's going to fly. Another really interesting blue. Oh, who's the artist on this one? Hmm. Hmm. It's adjustable. And there's oh. no artist and no hallmark, but it sure is pretty. Oh my gosh, this looks like number eight turquoise, but I don't. I'm not too sure. Wow. Yum. Candy. What number is this? Nine? Did Ten. I say nine? Ten. Ten. Oh, the price is great too. One forty-four. Well, I think this is actually a T Skies piece. Probably because there's no. What's the adjustable uh, size? It starts at size 8. What's the interior look like? The van? Hey, I'll show you. Ah, okay. Because if it was a specific thing, I would have guessed uh, Nakai. But I think this is T-Skies. Someone here made it. Made right here in our own little sweet gallery. For those that don't know, this is a gallery. But it's also a workspace for our artists. And we have artists from all over the community that uh, work here, creating our signature lines that you can see on, on our website, tskies.com. But they also have access to every type of jewelry equipment you could imagine to create all of their own designs, which they sell here too. Oh yeah. Devin's a big mm -hmm. part of that. Yeah, if you... And I think we're going to get a little sneak peek tomorrow on Instagram, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to talk about that. Oh, this is such a pretty blue. And I love how flat it is, too. Yeah, it's it's neat. It reminds me of a, a dinner ring. So, I know it's cliche, but turquoise really is my favorite color. Dark turquoise, light turquoise, in between turquoise. I love it all. I think I lean towards coral more. I have a coral colored kitchen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. We used to have just a bright red kitchen and it was not good. It was too much? Make everybody <laughs> I mean, angry? We painted our house as children. Like me and my sisters painted our whole house. So we had like black walls with oh next to like Lord. bright yellow and lime green walls. And it was like something out and of And your a... mom was just like, okay. Yeah. And then we painted over it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of like when I bought my house. I'd never been able to paint a wall before because I'd always rented. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't know how to pick paint. And everything was like really dark and weird and loud and clashed. And Oh, yeah. It's hard. It's Picking been an paint. evolution for sure. I can't wait to pick paint. Oh, my gosh. I I call my kitchen my, my grandma kitchen because it looks like a little 50s, 1950s kitchen. The Do you have 50s walls. appliances? No, but oh, I wish. I, if I, I, wish I if I could, I would. Trust me, they're hard to find. Yeah, I mean, shoot. I, I love mid-century modern everything, though. Like we were just talking about. Mm. All right, number 11, coming up. Ooh, we got some lapis with some of that beautiful. That's pyrite that is in lapis, isn't it? Yeah, so That makes it all sparkly. Lapis. 
Yeah, so that's... See, I used to not be a fan of Lapis, just because I'd only seen just the pure blue Lapis. And I was like, oh, that's kind of lame. It's just dark blue. But then once I started working here and I saw real Lapis... Good Lapis. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. And yeah. I have yet to work with Lapis or have a Lapis ring, and I really, really this want one. It's actually a little deeper blue that it's showing up in this camera. Yeah, but you see that pyrite in there. Mm -hmm. And then amazing. this fun stamped band the whole way through. Reminds me of a Devon piece. Is it, Oops, where am I? Where I lost myself. Where am I going? Ah. Work that camera. <laughs> I think that camera's working me. <laughs> Who's the artist on this one that doesn't work in it? Check. I'm really hoping it's a Devon piece. I feel like it is. There's no indication. Oh, dang it. But the inside of this ring is, has a stamp texture to it. Check this out. Oh, like the, the plate it's on? The back plate? Yes. Wow. Um, find the right focus to show you right there. And then if you just turn it and flash it. There, there. we go. It's wow. like an Easter egg. I love it. Oh my it. god, it is. It's a size eight and a half. Is that your size? Um, I don't know. I think I'm a size 10 or 11. Oh, well, this is not the ring for you then. <sighs> Although you work at a jewelry store, you could size it. I mean... You could make yourself I, a ring. You I'm know? more of like the type to make myself. Like, I don't, I don't yeah, buy Why wouldn't jewelry. you make yourself something if you know yeah. how? Makes sense. Unless it's like being a cook and you don't want to cook once you get home from right. cooking. All well, right, so I number... One is make a watch. So we'll see. Oh, you should. We'll see. This one is 144. Oh my god, I can't see I like today. it's I like how it how find the right word. It's not that it's simple, it's just sort of like Classic. It's classic, yeah. It's one of those things that you can put on and go with anything. What was the size again? Eight and a half. I have a lot of rings in my jewelry box with this vibe to it. Because I don't have to think about it too much. Mm -hmm. If I'm just running out the door but I grab a ring and I put it on, and I know it's gonna look good with everything, this is one of those rings. Mm -hmm. I'm always the type to look at my mom's jewelry and like I could rock that. Like I see her squash blossoms, <laughs> you I see should. her ponchos, I'm like I could do that. But they're hurt. We gotta I can't practice feel my mom's pretty... jewelry. That's not my family. <laughs> In my family, it's we have like a checkout log of who has which, which jewelry. Cause my, oh. all my aunt, I have I've, Roberta, Pearl, Naomi, my mom, Trish, five aunt, my mom plus four sisters. And then my grandma, like you can imagine, the jewelry collection yeah. is out of control. Well, and so we have a checkout system so that all the nieces can have access to it as well. And daughters and granddaughters and great granddaughters. Oh my gosh. There you go. Since I'm the jeweler of the family, I just have to make everybody their jewelry supply. So <laughs> it's a hard life as a jeweler. This one is also adjustable. Starting at a seven and a half, size seven and a half, has that adjustable band in there. Does it not have an artist mark at all? It doesn't, or? no, but it has a really pretty piece of turquoise, as you can see. Yeah. This is probably a turquoise, an in-house design. Yeah. I had to guess. Because we usually do that style of, of the adjustable. Yeah. That's See, that's different from the other one because it's a raised stone, so if you look at the profile of it, mm -hmm. it really pops out of there. I like the profile, too. I like all the, the character that it has. This is number 12, right? This is number 12. This is our last piece. So if you're holding it until the end, you got there. You have made it. Yeah. Uh, everybody just loves the pearls. Let's Andy. talk about the pearls. All right, so we have the price up on that one. That one was 144 So these are... Um, Ashley Hartson, are you wanting to buy 11 and 3 let us know. Because if so, we gotcha. Or you're just saying sole. <laughs> <laughs> the artist is, her first name is Vanita, yes? Vanita Cowboy. Vanita Cowboy. And what's incredible about these beads is that they're, everything, is, she oh, does everything. So. They are thick. That's some weight right there. I think Marco maybe can talk more about what makes these unique. Yeah, so we sell, we sell, um, Pearls in-house as well, Navajo pearls that are made by Devison, Devin Edison and some other Navajo artists. Um, and they're strung all by uh, Navajo hands. 
But this is done by one specific artist, Benita Cowboy, and she does everything, making the beads, uh, finishing them, uh, rounding them, uh, chaining it, and even oxidizing it all. Mm -hmm. And these ones are extra thick and are a lot of silver. And you have to curve every single half. You, so you have to make the bead in halves. So you have to curve every little piece. You have to cut out each little circle. Like, you have to drill every little hole. And you have to turn them into like a bowl shape yeah. too, which is so you have your mind disc, blowing. You drill your holes into each disc. And then you have a dapping tool where you'll hit it with a hammer for each one and curve it. And then you have to solder it together. And then after the solder, you have to clean it up. There is a whole process. Like one of these probably makes a whole day takes a whole day to make and but. that's reflected in the price i mean this is true she's truly a master of the pearls mm -hmm. and these go for 800 yeah i bought my mom a pair of these and shoot luckily Here, let's I do have. a close-up and you, you had to save up for it yeah i did oh yes a close-up oops i got you Hello. just gotta re-angle mark was setting up our gremlin camera Oh, turn off little boxy. There we go. And here we are. Here we are. And those are, um, yeah, I'll turn it down a little bit so it's a tippy toe. I love how heavy they are, mm -hmm. but smooth. They've got a good length on them. I think those are 20 inches in length, and they are the three quarter inch ba or beads, so they're for. I'll measure like, them out. Yeah. Let's pop the price up there on these ones since we're talking about them and the artist. And if you are interested in these, we do have a layaway program, and I'll put some information about that in a little bit after I put the price. The beads, uh, it's, they're 18. 18, 18 inches inch. long. And what's the size of each bead across the diameter? Um, Three quarters or half inch? Half inch. Wow, half inch. Those are big. Those do fit you real well. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I love them. <laughs> I wish they were mine. <laughs> Maybe I'll save up for a pair for me. Yeah, and if you have big pendants, they work perfectly for them. Mm -hmm. My mom gave me all of her pendants. She's like, okay, I need new bales to fit all of my, <laughs> to fit on these now. Smart lady. So if you do want to buy something or uh, these pearls, for example, or multiple things, we offer layaway through T Skies yes. and through Klarna. Mm -hmm. Through T Skies, your order, your total order, has to be over two hundred fifty dollars, and you put twenty five percent down, and then a total three monthly payments after that of twenty five percent. Right. And once it's paid off, we ship it out to you. But with Klarna, we can send you the cart, and Klarna will pay us automatically and set up a finance program with you yeah. so you can get your pieces right away and you still have your finance program. Yep, yep. So if you love these pearls, what is what is 25% of 800? Is that how much um, they were? Gosh, I think I'm, was I'm just terrible at math. Um, 200. Sounds about right. <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty bad. That's pretty yeah, simple that's, math. That, that's <laughs> so if you pay two hundred <laughs> today, you could have and two hundred for the next three months. They could be yours in just yes. a few months. I think that's a pretty handy yeah. service myself. I could afford two hundred bucks. Much. Yeah. All right, let's go back through what we have left. See if anybody wants something like these beauties right here. Oh my gosh, this was number three. Three. Yeah. Ooh la la. These little Daryl Yazzie numbers, shadow box, mm -hmm. can see the grooves in there. Some twist wire on the sides. Yep. I love the high polish on these. It makes the contrast All right. so beautiful. Sold oh. three and 11 Oh, good thing she uh, Ashley clarified Hurst. that. Thank you. Let's pull those off the table. Nice mm. choices. And Ashley, if you're a first time buyer with us, you can give us a call and, okay, never mind. She is a, not a first time buyer. Okay. okay. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> but if you are a first time buyer, just make sure that you send us your email address. Congratulations, Ashley. Congratulations, you got my favorite pair of earrings of the day. We want to see pictures. 
you can join our inner circle if you aren't there already. Marco will put up the information on how to do that. It's a Facebook group where we pretty much just share pictures of ourselves in jewelry playing dress up. Cause yeah. <laughs> why not? <laughs> I know I love taking pictures of myself every time I get a new piece of jewelry. All right, so these are number five. This is our only pair of earrings left. These sweet little crosses. A little Sleeping Beauty turquoise there in the middle. A pop of color. They are a solid chunk, not hollow in the center. What else can I say about them? Give you a size. They are an inch long. No, she's talking about 3 and oh, 11 because yeah. we started showing them. Got yeah. it. Oh, thanks, Devin. Cool. All right, so these ones are number five on sale for 112 for the next 24 hours. And then they go back to their pumpkin price of 140 This is going to get me every time. Cinderella. That's a Cinderella Cinderelli, shout Cinderelli. out. Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella. When I was little, I had a toy poodle, and her name was Cindy because she looked like she'd rolled in ashes. <laughs> That little dog lived to be about 18 years old. Oldest little poodle in the world, I think. Yeah. What number is this one? Um, nine. Gatsbyite. We're calling this our, our tiki face because it kind of has a little eyes and nose face there. Easter Island ring. And I nice love that too. bright spring green. It just makes thing. you want to get out there and enjoy the sunshine, be with the flowers. Love it. It's size eight. That gas pit wraps around quite far, actually. Oh, yeah. But, right until it but makes it, that double shank. Yes, it taper, tapers and it doesn't bother you. It doesn't clink against your finger. And the double shank is pretty subtle, actually. It's very smooth and polished together. All in all, just a very classy ring cigar band style. And the artist on this one is Edison Yazzie. Great Emily work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Edison Yazzie is a Diné silversmith. Oh yes, this is inlay. I forgot to mention that. It's a little bit of, got some silver there too. Yeah, right in between. It's also part of inlay. That's a pretty one. Okay, let's go to number, that was number nine. nine. I jumped ahead. Let's go back a track to number eight. Our Wild Horse Statement Ring mm -hmm. by AJ. Crazy horse. Another Diné artist. The horse with no name. The horse with snow's name. <laughs> <laughs> that was me singing the whole road trip when I was tiny. I had a captive audience got a four shank uh, band but I think what great bezel too is really the uh, I mean obviously the stones are what are stealing the show here I'd actually probably wear it like this yeah it's got the two little beach shot too yeah Super right sweet. there boop and boop I just love that stone very well made my husband's favorite stone. Soul five to Team Stanley. Which he just discovered after starting to watch these shows. He told <laughs> me he's like, I really like that crazy horse. Wink wink. <laughs> well, <laughs> All right, Tina on number five. Fabulous. Which one was number five? Congratulations, again? those were the little crosses. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Tina. It's always nice seeing Tina come in. Oh, she's a local? Yeah. Oh, cool. I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tina. All right, guys. We've got about five minutes, and then we're going to say adios. Is that so all we've got over? 10, and we've got 12 left to look at real fast. This is was 10. This really pretty flat profiled ring. And a size? It is a size 8. Plus, eight because plus. it is adjustable. I love how flat it is. Oh I gosh. do too. I'm not going to be knocking it into things, which 
I unfortunately tend to do to my jewelry. <laughs> this stone, um, can you give me the other camera angle? Because I don't feel like this one's really doing it justice. There you go, you can really see the detail. The color is so beautiful. Just a rich turquoise. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful turquoise color. Yeah, or it's rich, no name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and last but not least is number 12, another adjustable turquoise ring. It Eight has plus. more matrix. This one is 7.5 plus. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Find on, me, on. find me, autofocus, find me. There, there we go. There we go. You can see more of the mother stone on this one. Yeah. And it's a little, um, the profile is not as flat. I like there. it though. It's really interesting. It's very cool. It has a very classic southwestern vibe about it. A very well cut stone too. Mm -hmm. And that rope detailing. All about the turquoise with this stone. And it is going for 144. These both were. Mm -hmm. 144 on these babies. So sweet. I love it. 10 and 12. All right, my dearies. Got a couple more minutes. We're just going to hang out. Let all of our programs catch up with each other. Marco's going to play some music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through been the been desert been. on a horse with snow snake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish my auntie was watching right now. She would be chuckling. She was the one that instigated that. <laughs> All right, darling. So be sure to come back and join us tomorrow at 3.30 because we have Old Pawn. Oh, yeah. Vintage. What my favorite thing tomorrow? in the world. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Marco, for keeping me on track. <laughs> tomorrow we are going to be live on Instagram mm -hmm. doing a behind the scenes tour of T Skies. Mm -hmm. And we we're going to be answering um, several questions. It's going to be a Q&A as well as a behind the scenes. Uh, we got all sorts of questions that come in and we thought, why don't we just do a show where we just get into it and just talk about who we are, how we happened, what happens here. Um, so that's happening tomorrow at 2.30 Mountain Standard Time, right before our Old Pond Vintage show. And then on Saturday, we'll be back here at 3.30 on Facebook and YouTube doing another uh, Q&A show. It'll be me and Shep, um, and we're just going to go through a whole bunch of questions that we've been collecting for the past couple of weeks. Um, if you have any questions, please send them to us ASAP. You can send them in direct messenger, or you can email them to hello at tskies.com if you have any burning questions. Um, so it's going to be fun. I love doing things a little, mixing it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. You got to. Yeah, so. Stay fresh. All right, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful night. We love you so much. Bye.